Hi everyone, my name is Arian Bautista and today I'm going to discuss the topic of antibiotic known as chloramphenicol. What is chloramphenicol? Chloramphenicol is an inhibitor of protein synthesis in a broad spectrum antibiotic that belongs to the class of antimicrobial. In the field of veterinary medicine, Chloramphenicol is prescribed for the treatment of bacterial infections in animals, most commonly in dogs and cats. It is an antibiotic with a wide range of activity that was originally derived from the bacterium Streptomyces venezuelae, but is now produced synthetically. Aside from that, chloramphenicol is bacteriostatic, but it has the potential to kill bacteria when used in high concentration or when it is applied to organisms with a high level of susceptibility. Also, it prevents the growth of bacteria by inhibiting protein synthesis and binding to the bacterial ribosomes. For its therapeutic uses, compared to other antibiotics, chloramphenicol can be effective only against bacterial infections and not infections caused by parasites, mites, viruses, or fungi. This antibiotic is typically used to treat skin infections, wound infections, bone infections, and intestinal tract infections, as well as pneumonia in dogs and cats. It can also be effective against infections of nervous system like meningitis, encephalitis, and certain tick transmitted diseases like Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. In many cases, chloramphenicol is preferred over other antibiotics as it can pass deeply through cell membranes and purulent material to attack bacteria residing in places other antibiotics cannot reach. Chloramphenicol is available in two forms, the active drug and the inactive prodrug. Orally administered chloramphenicol, palmitate is hydrolyzed to active drug by pancreatic esterases in the small intestine before absorption. After intravenous infusion, Chloramphenicol sodium succinate is hydrolyzed rapidly to active drug in the kidneys, liver, and lungs. For its administration, chloramphenicol is administered orally, IM, IV, or subcutaneous for every 6 to 8 hours in dogs, birds, and horses, and every 12 hours in cats. Fluorphenicol, on the other hand, is a thiamphenicol derivative with the same mechanism of action as chloramphenicol and is administered intramuscularly in cattle and repeated 48 hours later for a total of two doses of the slow-release preparation. It is administered IM or subcutaneous every 8 hours in dogs and every 12 hours in cats. For its mechanism of action, chloramphenicol is a lipid-soluble antibiotic that is effective against S type E, H influenza, E. coli, Neisseria species, Staphylococcus and Streptococcus species, as well as Rickettsia. Also, chloramphenicol reversibly binds to the L16 protein of the 50S subunit of bacterial ribosomes, where transfer of amino acids to growing peptide chains is prevented, thus inhibiting peptide bond formation and subsequent protein synthesis. This is the end of my report. Thank you and see you in our next video.